cool. Um, let me look over here at these polls. What do we have polled? Okay, a lot of IRC fans here. So I will, I'll try and tune my IRC talk that way here. But the basic thing is, um, yeah, since the dawn of time, Fedora as a project has used IRC as our primary uh, synchronous communications method. As we're around the world, um, it's an open source free, uh, distributed even way to communicate with people in real time. So um, a lot of open source projects, including Fedora, naturally used it as kind of the backbone of real time communication. Um, with mailing lists being the you know primary place for uh, asynchronous communication, basically when you're not talking in real time. Um, and it served us pretty well, but it has some problems. IRC is a very old protocol predating the World Wide Web. Um, and there's also a lot of um, kind of culture and just technology stuff around it that, you know, are pretty much from those days as well. And uh, one of those things is basically it has no strong authentication. Um, so anybody can log in and be whoever they want, which is cool. Uh, but it also means that in modern times when people want to, you know, be known for who they are in the IRC networks, uh, there's been things built up to make it uh, so that people can reattach to the same nicknames every time. And the process for doing that is fairly complicated. It's not like it's rocket science, but if you're a new user, the steps to go through getting registered with NickServe to register your nickname and communicate in our channels is really hard. And uh, that barrier to entry to communication is well, one of the things we've identified for a long time as frustrating for new people participating in the project. Another thing is that IRC doesn't have any sort of natural persistence. If you're not connected to a channel and you come back later, you don't know what's going on. And that has really two problems. First of all, it biases toward things towards people who are able to just keep this connected and going all of the time. It means that uh, the people who are chatting tend to be the, the, the same people who kind of are really invested in IRC and in Fedora as a thing to connect to all of the time. And that also means that, you know, uh, people who are just kind of you know, dropping in, you kind of you don't have the thread of what was going on. And both of these things together contribute to another problem I've talked about a lot, which is when people out in the world kind of want to see what's going on in Fedora, is this Linux distribution backed by, you know, an active, vibrant community? Or is it just, you know, is it one or two people? doing nothing or is you know is it dead um, when all of the activity is basically on mailing lists that are hard to kind of you know, see the pulse of or very much on IRC it's invisible activity and so you don't see what's going on in the project um, plus there are some modern innovations in communication um, like sending emoji reactions, which sound a little bit silly, but are actually really nice in a conversation because you can have a lot, you can, you can sort of give feedback on something without having a, uh, having to actually put something more heavy, like an entire message or a plus one or something that scrolls the chat and adds more because you can have out of band things. And of course you can post graphics, which is nice for, you know, course sending memes a vital mode of conversation these days my teenagers you know basically speak in meme um, and then also it's useful for you know things like if I want to send a you know fedora stats graph or something it's easy to pass that around and IRC is not you know it's not it's all text oriented now of course there are some advantages to a text-based thing that's accessible and uh that that has some things to it as well, but uh, there are also just m modern conveniences that are nice to have. Um, so uh, we have uh, decided that we are going to move Fedora's primary communication channels to a thing called Matrix. Matrix is basically a modern evolution of IRC. We actually had a chat with one of the creators of it, and who is now the runs a company called Element. Um, Fedora Council, we can, we can drop a link in here. Um, it was very popular and really interesting sort of conversation with him about the protocol. Um, but basically this gives us, uh, so we, we've uh, actually have a contract, Red Hat is funding, thank you Red Hat, a uh, 
home server for us. So chat.fedoraproject.org will be the primary real-time chat uh, channel for Fedora and everybody in the Fedora project can get a fedora.im handle, be your username at uh, colon fedora im uh, on, on Matrix. Um, and we have a bunch of rooms set up there to go. Uh, this gives us several things. It gives us kind of that visible presence of chat. It gives us somewhere people can easily join, go here to these channels, and it kind of gives us a nice visual organization. Another problem with IRC is there's no really great way to show a list of all of the channels. Um, the IRC comments can do it, but uh, for various reasons, it's just sort of messy. And we had a wiki page listing all the IRC channels, and it was horribly out of date. So we have a thing called a space in Matrix that shows basically collects all of our channels into one place, and they can have nice, like uh, a logo for each. The web team can have their logo, and the design team can have their logo, and the Fedora Council can have their logo, so they're easily identifiable. Um, and um, another important thing about this is you can go to the Fedora chat server, or you can actually use any other Matrix home server you know, or matrix.org, and you can connect into our channels on fedoraproject.org, or you can connect out from there to the uh, existing, or yeah, to other, other Matrix rooms. And an important thing here with this is we have bridged it to uh, IRC, to Libera chat. IRC. So basically, all of the existing Fedora rooms are bridged, and many of the new rooms we create also have an IRC bridge to them. And there is a general IRC bridge so that using the matrix client, uh, using chat.fedoraproject.org, you can connect to uh, any other IRC library chat room where a lot of uh, other open source projects still are. So it makes a nice experience for a lot of people. Um, it also means if uh, you still are, I saw the XKCD thing in the poll, if you still want to connect to it via IRC, we do have that bridge. Uh, but it is probably the case that some newer things are not going to be bridged as we go forward as they kind of focus on some of the matrix first, uh, matrix based technologies going on there. So where are we at with this? Um, it is launched and live in kind of a soft launch phase. We have a couple things to work out. There's one thing with the like click-through agreements I need to work out with legal. Um, and then we have a bunch of documentation we need to update. So on discussion.fedoraproject.org, we have a category called matrix for the matrix SIG. This is where we're kind of working on those documents and policies for things. If you're interested in this, please join us there. If you're interested in IRC still working with it, there is a section called uh, IRC matrix compatibility or something like that for posting your experiences with that. Um, and if you'd like to help us write the documentation we need to get for go forward, please come join us there because that's really what the next step is for us to do this. Um, yeah, OK. Um, let's see if there are any questions here. Nothing in the Q&A. If you would like to ask a question, please go ahead and ask a question. Um, otherwise, um, there's my summary of things. Uh, I can type some link to the pages. Yeah, um, hold on, let me find them. Wait, my other web browser is not up because of the whole thing with the rebooting. Um, the actual link here is. Yeah, um, okay, so yeah, um, the question, app service kicked blah, 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 you've been kicked for being idle. Will it be allowed to idle indefinitely in the chats? So this is actually a message from the bridge. You can idle indefinitely on the IRC side or I, idle indefinitely on the matrix side. What happens is though, um, the way the matrix bridge works is there's a puppet user. Um, so the puppet user, which is basically what, what you speak through, um, is created when you log into the channel. And there's a technical thing where basically uh, infinite numbers of users would pile up until there's a billion users, something like that. Uh, the, this is explained in the council video chat thing. So basically uh, idle uh, users on the bridge are removed just from the bridge. Um, I would like to get those messages suppressed because they're annoying and pointless, but um, they're working on that. Um, yeah. Uh, so. There's a question here which says, um, 
I'm struggling if I want to use my Fedora IAM account or if I want to stick with my Matrix or, or, or account. Um, most clients don't support multiple accounts, and um, Ben doesn't want to know if he looks like wants to look like he's representing Fedora when he's participating in unrelated communities. Yeah, um, if you're using your Fedora IAM account, you are in a way representing Fedora when you're participating in the other communities. So keep that in mind. Um, there are some RFEs, like some work on Matrix to make client support switching between identities, and I hope that comes out because I think that that makes sense. Um, I would encourage people to use their Fedora IM account when you're uh, participating in the Fedora chat stuff because um, it, uh, you know, it, it's nice to be proud of that identity and it's nice to know like if you are a person in Fedora and I want to talk to make sure I'm talking to B Cotton um, when I send a message to B Cotton on the Fedora channel there i know i'm talking to the right one and not an imposter so that's a nice thing there and also uh, we kind of look at usage there and we can correlate you know usernames to actual fedora account names nicely uh, which is uh, cool for like meeting stats and things like that um we are paying per user for fedora im things or rather red hat is but um i think the advantages of it are worth it um if you do want to instead use your you know matrix.org account or other account primarily and your fedora one only occasionally um that will save red hat a tiny bit of money but uh, i think that's okay i'd rather have this actually be a smashing success and need to go back to red hat with we need even more money for this rather than the other way around um Someone says, I can't register for her account, cannot reach home server. You should be able to just log in using your Fedora account name, and it should automatically create your account. Um, if there is a bug there, um, I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, did someone link the discussion channel, um, the matrix? Let me see if I can find that real fast. Oh, and there's cues in the Q and A. Okay, um, and you pick another nickname uh, other than your fast name. No, it is your fast name. Um, however, you get a display name that is different. So, um, yeah, it is definitely it is always your fast name, just like your Fedora project or email address is your fast name. Um, how can we ex achieve widespread adoption? So, I think. Um, the documentation is going to be the main thing here uh, and kind of making uh, our communications doc be matrix focused. I think it's going to happen naturally um, and we can measure it, I think, just by seeing your, your accounts in channels and we can maybe do some sampling and say, you know, okay, let's look in, you know, um, the main Fedora room, you know, monthly say on a certain day and like see the number of users in each from, from each connected from each place and the number of lines spoken from people coming from where so we could do statistics like that to figure things out um does it replace existing elements fedora chat um so we have whenever possible um you matrix rooms are basically objects can have different identity they've got their actual name is a just a long number it's a, or whatever you know hex string um and they can actually have different identities attached to them. We have actually, all the rooms we could find changed to have um, the Fedora project.org name be the primary identity, and it may also have a matrix.org identity. So you should be able to connect to those from everywhere. Um, I mentioned fedora.im and fedoraproject.org. We made a decision to make the official channels on a little tiny secret home server we have that is fedoraproject.org. So there are fedora colon fedora, you know, hash fedora colon fedoraproject.org uh, rooms. And you can also be fedora.im rooms, uh, which you can just create uh, on the fly for anything fedora related. Um, and we are going to have a process for promoting those two official rooms at some point, but we are still working on that. Um, the names we've decided to be Fedora IM kind of for that, is this an official Fedora thing? Well, uh, you are kind of representing Fedora, as I said, when you use Fedora IM, but it's clear that it's not necessarily an official, official Fedora project.org message just because you have that that handle and we're reserved we probably have maybe a bot and a couple of us have administrative accounts using fedora project.org but you won't see those used very oftenly thanks everybody sorry for the video trouble hopefully it will be better for my next session